What it do? It's your dude Osmo Osmo back at it again with another reaction. You feel me? Today I got it. Mr. Beast, man. Some more Mr. Beast allegations, man. This shit is actually getting crazier and crazier. Believe it or not. I'm, I'm just get into it, man. But before I do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, man. We're doing this. I'm even at work right now. I'm at work recording a video. <laughs> That's how committed I am to this shit, man. I'm trying to get it all done. But more and more information and more drama and more news comes out like every second nowadays. So it's kind of hard for me to keep up, but I'm trying. Anyway, let's get to it don't forget to watch the whole video through if you fuck with me all right so anyway more mr beast has allegations have come out the guy i reviewed a while ago now dog pack man he's been going through the trenches man mr beast has been sending him cease and desist letters been trying to defame him and like just harassing him in multiple different ways it's, cra it's crazy to see not only that mr beast came out with a video and they are constantly deleting comments in the comment section mr beast what's the matter why do you look so angry? Look at the hate comments on my newest video. They're driving me nuts. They're commenting about me rigging games, promoting illegal gambling, and protecting Chris. Why not just delete them? Your younger fans probably won't even notice. I did that, but the hate comments keep flooding in. Wait a sec, I just had a brilliant idea. A few moments later. Today's challenge is absolutely insane. We've got five of the best hitmen in the world competing to unalive my haters. The hitman who takes out the most haters will win a whopping one million dollars. Which is kind of scary because I don't think Mr. Beast is doing it. Either YouTube is doing it or he has some kind of bot or something doing it because they're doing it in like real time. It's crazy to see. But yeah, the guy, I believe his name is Dog Pack, came out with another video and this video is damning for sure. He interviews another ex Mr. Beast employee, which I do remember. The guy was actually in video, so I do remember this guy. And he was just talking about how, yeah, Mr. Beast fakes his video. He had to call his mom to get her ready to fake a video, basically. And everything that is done on Mr. Beast pretty much is faked nowadays. I worked on while I was there. This is the extent of the, the fakeness that I was involved to. This is like, <laughs> admitting to my complicity. I was a writer there, and we were working on a video. Uh, Crushing my friend's car with a rock or meteor or uh, something. It was, it was a rock or a meteor in the title of it. I can't remember, but he wanted to do a prank where, unbeknownst to the person, he takes a rock, crushes their car, and they're supposed to think a rock came out of space. We're gonna take a meteor. We're gonna put it on Weddell's car. We're gonna take another meteor and put it on Marcus's car. Both of them have no idea that we're doing this. Weddell and Marcus are probably shocked. They had no idea. And so that was the one and only time I had to, huh? My car? What? And on the fly, I saw him, uh, cause Marcus was in that video, so Marcus is calling his mom, Marcus genuinely had no idea, he was, he was, he genuinely had no idea, but, uh, so Marcus is calling his mom, and his mom's freaking out, and I'm like, oh no, they're gonna call my mom next, so I had to text my mom, who had to beg to get the title very quickly, now she, I am texting my mom, I go, I go, mom, I'm about to call you about the meteor thing, you have no idea, be surprised, and then I hit send, and then they go, call your mom now, <laughs> And I call my mom and I tell her, and oh, she should have got the Oscar. Oh my god, on the fly, she goes, what? I'm on vacation. Mom, my car has been um, destroyed. Wait, what? <laughs> A meteor hit it. I'm on vacation, do you understand? Uh, but uh, yeah, I did that video and they're supposed to give me 10K to put a down payment on a uh, new car. And they wanted me to get like a big flashy new car. 10K was supposed to be a down payment. And uh, I can't afford a big flashy new car because I work at Mr. Beast. <laughs> so uh, I, I couldn't get anything. I couldn't afford the taxes on. I couldn't get anything. I couldn't afford the insurance on. Um, so I, I do my part of the video and I get a mom van that I could afford. And uh, Jimmy was like, why didn't you get a cooler car? I was like, I, what do you, I can't afford this. The guy even went into how he had this guy do a video and pretty much through the whole video, he's being tortured. Like he's gone through a Guantanamo Bay type of torture in this video, you know? And it's crazy because it's, it's actually turned out that Mr. Beast might be the ditty of YouTube. He was talking about how Mr. Beast has like different things going on on his little ranch or his little plot of land he got in, I, I believe it's South Carolina, North Carolina, one of the Carolinas. He a plot of land and he's just doing all kinds of crazy experiments and video ideas there and he's really turned out to be the ditty of youtube so like one place he'll have this guy in a bunker he has this he had this guy in a room for i believe he said uh, uh 30 days with no contact no light i mean no sunlight and they kept the lights on through the whole time which is something you can't do even to war prisoners like it's a very illegal thing to do and somehow mr beast got away with it you know more stuff is coming out 
and it's quite amazing it's actually amazing like what's coming out like the things he said in this video because i don't want to go over everything i want you to go and see the video for yourself i'm just doing a reaction to it like i said and like i said it's just amazing to see like how much burnt shit is actually coming out from the mr beast studio man they was torturing this man like you can obviously tell that this guy has a mental issue or has some kind of mental damage going on because he's he's real kind of jittery and he cries and it's just real sad like mr beast did this to this man like what the hell but like i was saying in the other video mr beast has always came off as a sociopath to me like the fact that he's willing to just pay money to get people to do whatever he wants it's just kind of creepy to me it's always been kind of creepy to me but yeah we're gonna see because more and more stuff comes out every day probably even as i'm making in this video more allegations are coming out so yeah go see the go see the dog pack video and let me know what you think in the comment section if you like the content don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'm out of here deuces